Snowflake offers a variety of performance enhancements to accelerate its various workloads. Here we will discuss how to leverage query acceleration service to improve the performance of your workload. Welcome to my channel. In this Snowflake learning tutorial, you will learn about one of the performance improvement feature that is query acceleration service. In shorthand form, we can call query acceleration service as QAS. Before that, do you want to start a career with Snowflake and expertise into it? I will help you to become a Snowflake skilled data professional within 30 days. This lecture explains what is a query acceleration service. What is the significance of this feature? Would it be possible for someone to activate this QAS in a role specific manner? At which level of the object we can activate this particular feature? Are any privileges required for this process? How can I determine which queries are eligible for QAS? Don't worry, we will examine each and every question mentioned and examine the outcomes. Okay, before that, let's know what is QAS. The query acceleration service can accelerate parts of the query workload in your warehouse by reducing the impact of outlier queries which use more resources than typical queries. It can enhance overall warehouse performance when uh, it is enabled. Here the query acceleration service uses shared compute resources to offload portions of the query processing work. Before going into the practical demo, let's see what are the prerequisites required. A Snowflake account that is Enterprise Edition or higher required. The privileges required to execute the create warehouse and auto warehouse commands. The privileges required to query the account usage views in the Snowflake database. Governance viewer privilege, usage viewer privilege are required. The privilege required to execute the information schema table functions. That is monitor usage. Intermediate knowledge of SQL. Snow site or snow SQL. It's a CLI client for executing SQL commands. Let's see what you will learn in this tutorial. In this tutorial, you will learn how to find a query in your query history that is eligible for query acceleration. Execute the query in two separate warehouses to identify the effects of query acceleration. And compare query performance and cost with and without acceleration. Identify which of the warehouse would benefit most from the query acceleration service. Enable the service for an existing warehouse. Let's see how query acceleration service works in Snowflake. Consider a huge query is running on a small warehouse. It consumes two credits per hour. It results in a poor query performance and also results in a blocking on all other queries from running. While huge queries running on an extra large warehouse will undoubtedly run faster. This is not an ideal solution when you have only a small number of larger queries to run and many small queries. This leads to higher overall running costs as the smaller queries don't make full use of compute resources. But the cluster is still charged at a rate of 16 credits per hour. The query acceleration service enabled on a small warehouse can automatically detect when a huge query needs more resources and releases additional compute resources to complete the query and then release the resources when the query is finished thereby reduces the overall cost compared to using a warehouse of bigger size. The number of resources that the query acceleration service can lease can be controlled using scale factor 
defined for query acceleration service. And the above illustration shows that a small warehouse with query acceleration enabled up to 8x scale factor detects a huge query. Then the query acceleration service deploys additional resources which helps in extracting data faster. And the query acceleration service effectively functions as a group of resources that are temporarily deployable alongside your current warehouse and when needed and takes on some of the heavy lifting. Let's go to Snowflake and see the query acceleration service in a practical manner. I'm into Snowflake. So you can see my context. I'm using Agnode admin role and this is my compute warehouse. It's extra small. This query identifies queries with a high eligible time ratio as defined by the ratio of eligible query acceleration time field and total query duration in the query acceleration eligible view in the account usage schema. The example data set for this query is a snapshot of the TPCDS data in the Snowflake sample data that is shared with you. In left side you can see Snowflake sample database. So in this I am using TPCDS underscore SF10 TCL. Under this I am using three tables. Dim date, store sales and items and I have joined these three tables these are the below conditions and I am fetching three columns from these three tables here brand ID and brand so and I have done group by also and finally order by and then I have limited records to 500 This tutorial needs two warehouses to execute the query, one with the query acceleration service enabled and one without. Executing the same query in new or separate warehouses will allow you to compare both performance and cost for the query acceleration service in this tutorial. Let's create two warehouses. Tutorial. Let's create the warehouse. And this is my first warehouse. We can see the syntax. Create warehouse. This is my warehouse name. No QS WH underscore WH and with warehouse size extra small. Enable query acceleration. I set to false. And initially suspended equals to true. So after creation, it will be on suspended state. And auto regime is for 60 seconds. Warehouse no QS warehouse successfully created. Let's create the second warehouse. Everything is same, but except I am using enable query acceleration service set to true, and the query acceleration max scale factor equals to 64. So apart from this, everything same except the name QS warehouse I set. Warehouse QS underscore WH successfully created. Now let's execute this sample query. And see the warehouse behavior before that let me set the context so use schema snowflake sample database database use schema snowflake sample data dot tpcds underscore sf10 tcl and use warehouse no qs warehouse You can see my context is successfully set. You can see above. Let's execute the statement and see the behavior. This query will take up to uh, 4 minutes. Let's wait.
can see it took 3 minutes 40 seconds so by using no qs warehouse it took uh, 3 minutes 40 seconds if you are using snow site uh, you can copy and paste the query id from the query profile panel in the results panel alternatively you can execute the following statement so get the query id of the uh, latest i mean last executed query copy and paste for the future steps so let's ex execute this query copy After executing the query in a uh, warehouse without query acceleration and execute this uh, with this query acceleration service, I mean uh, enabled warehouse. Now let's execute the same query with the warehouse uh, which is having the query acceleration enabled, which is nothing but a QAS warehouse, QAS underscore WH. This is the warehouse which we have enabled the query acceleration service. Let me set the context first. We have successfully okay we are into the same cortex ps warehouse the account admin code and let's execute the same query you can see it took 46 milliseconds Let's execute the last query ID and copy this query ID for future steps. Uh, we executed the same query file. Once using a warehouse with query uh, acceleration enabled and another without. So now we can compare the query performance of the query. To do that, uh, we can execute the information schema. It's query history table function to compare the execution time of the queries using the query ID. Let's execute this statement and we will see the performance. I mean the execution time of these two queries. You can see the query ID, query text, the warehouse name, no QAS underscore warehouse and QAS underscore warehouse. You can see the uh, total elapsed time. Compare the total elapsed time for the same query executed with and without acceleration. And you can see the differences also. And next, compare the cost of uh, each warehouse. We can execute the information schema, warehouse metering history table function for each warehouse. And let's execute the uh, following query to give the cost of the uh, no QS underscore WH warehouse. This is the query which we have executed. This is the credits associated with this query. And let's copy this. It's here. And now execute the same with. QS underscore WH warehouse. Here yeah, the second one is the uh, most recent one, the one which I have executed previously. Let's see the second one. And you can see start time, end time, and the warehouse name. So QS underscore WH. The credit user 0 0.03. And the credit user compute 0 0.03 same and credits user cloud services so 0 0.00028 and the credit user total it's 0 0.069 let's copy and we keep it somewhere without understanding purpose so far we have tested a query in two warehouses one warehouse with the query acceleration enabled and one without 
and have been uh, able to compare the performance and the cost of query acceleration service. Next, we will see how to uh, identify which of your, I mean, which of your warehouses will benefit the most from query acceleration service. Yeah, uh, you can find the, I mean, you can find the warehouses that would benefit the most of the, I mean, uh, most for query acceleration service by determining which warehouses have the largest number of queries that are eligible for query acceleration service and and the warehouses uh, with the most, I mean, uh, the most query acceleration eligible time. Okay, let's identify the warehouses with the most queries uh, eligible for the query acceleration service in the last month. I'm executing this statement. You can see warehouse name, no QS underscore where double hatch and number of eligible queries is two and the max upper limit scale factor is 14, 14 each and the complete warehouse is having one. So with this query, you can check how many eligible queries are there in your uh, for query acceleration service? Now let's identify the uh, warehouses with the most eligible time for the query acceleration service in the last month. I'm executing the same, but I'm changing some modification. I'm summing the eligible query acceleration time as total eligible time. can see no QS underscore double H total eligible time is 435 seconds and the max upper scale factor is same for each way for both warehouse and the computer warehouse is having uh, its total eligible time is 283 seconds. Uh, typically uh, the warehouses that would benefit the most are the ones uh, that uh, either have the largest number of eligible queries and the most, I mean, uh, the most amount of eligible query acceleration time or a combination of uh, two. For example, if your warehouse is in the top of, um, top of the results for both of these queries above, so that warehouse might be a good candidate for query acceleration. And uh, you can enable that query acceleration for that warehouse and after you have decided which warehouse would benefit the most or from the query acceleration service, you can enable query access service by executing this uh, following statement, like order warehouse statement. So let's execute this order warehouse. I'm setting query acceleration L, uh, enable for this no underscore QS warehouse. executed successfully. So now that you have enabled query acceleration service for your warehouse or warehouses, you are ready to take the advantage of uh, query acceleration service for your eligible queries. This is all about query acceleration service. Thanks for watching the video. If you like my video, please click the like button and subscribe my channel.